To date, astronomers have detected more than 6,900 exoplanets across over 4,900 planetary systems. These alien worlds, scattered across the cosmos, stir both fascination and frustration. While the discovery of potentially habitable planets inspires dreams of exploration, the crushing reality is that these celestial neighbors remain frustratingly out of reach. The vast distances separating us from these distant worlds represent one of humanity's greatest technological challenges. However, the story doesn't end there. In a twist that sounds straight from the pages of science fiction, scientists and engineers are now working diligently on revolutionary propulsion technologies that could one day make interstellar travel a reality. The most tantalizing of these prospects comes from a concept lifted directly from the world of science fiction, the warp drive. Immortalized by the Star Trek franchise, the warp drive has long been a fictional solution to the problem of faster-than-light, FTL, travel. But could this fantastical idea actually become a reality? Recent studies and experiments suggest that it just might be possible. Experts have now presented a sensational concept that brings the notion of warp travel closer to the realm of science than ever before. At the intersection of classic science fiction and cutting-edge research lies an astonishing conclusion, under certain theoretical frameworks, warp travel is not only plausible, it may even be achievable. For those less familiar with Captain Kirk and the USS Enterprise, the basic premise of the warp drive involves manipulating the very fabric of space-time. Instead of propelling a ship through space in the traditional sense, a warp drive alters space-time itself, compressing it in front of the ship and expanding it behind. This distortion creates what's known as a warp bubble, within which a spacecraft remains stationary relative to its local frame of reference while surfing a wave of space-time. This means that the ship can effectively travel faster than the speed of light without actually violating Einstein's theory of relativity. Because the ship is not moving through space, but rather space is moving around the ship, it remains within the bounds of known physics. To visualize this, imagine a balloon with two dots painted on it. As the balloon inflates, the dots move away from one another. If we could locally compress and expand parts of the balloon, we could bring the dots closer or farther apart at will, without actually moving the surface itself. In this analogy, the spaceship is like one of those dots. It stays in the same local space while the space-time around it is stretched and compressed. This method allows for hypothetical travel at speeds far exceeding that of light, at least from the perspective of an outside observer. The theoretical groundwork for this idea was first laid over 30 years ago by Mexican physicist Miguel Alcubierre. In 1994, Alcubierre proposed a mathematical model, now famously known as the Alcubierre Drive, that allowed for warp travel through a controlled distortion of spacetime. According to his equations, a spacecraft surrounded by a ring of exotic matter with negative mass could create a warp bubble and travel at up to 10 times the speed of light. However, the model came with a massive catch, the need for negative energy, a hypothetical substance that may not even exist in the real universe. Moreover, generating the required amount of energy would be a Herculean task. The energy equivalent to the entire mass of the planet Jupiter would be needed to create a single warp bubble, placing it far beyond our current technological capabilities. Still, the Alcubierre drive remains a cornerstone of warp drive theory. Alcubierre suggested that exotic matter with negative mass could counteract gravity and shape spacetime in the desired way. However, negative mass has never been observed in nature and contradicts our current understanding of matter. Because of this, the concept remained more of a theoretical curiosity than a viable engineering blueprint, until now. A recent breakthrough by a research team led by Jared Fuchs at the University of Alabama in Huntsville has reignited the warp drive conversation. Published in the journal Classical and Quantum Gravity, their study outlines a new design that entirely sidesteps the need for exotic negative energy. Known as the Constant Velocity Subluminal Warp Drive, this model proposes a system that adheres strictly to the principles of general relativity while still enabling faster-than-conventional speed travel. Unlike previous concepts, this warp drive doesn't aim to exceed the speed of light but operates just below it, hence, subluminal. What makes this proposal so intriguing is its reliance on conventional gravitational principles combined with new theoretical approaches. 
The warp bubble is generated using warp drive spacetimes constructed to gravitate like ordinary matter, according to the researchers. This means that instead of relying on speculative exotic materials, the system uses known forms of energy and matter, making the concept far more grounded in current scientific understanding. While this version of the warp drive doesn't allow for true FTL travel, it does represent a critical stepping stone toward that ultimate goal. In fact, the most exciting progress came in 2022, when physicist Harold Sonny White from the Limitless Space Institute made headlines with an experimental result that stunned the scientific community. While working on unrelated experiments involving the Casimir effect, a quantum phenomenon involving the interaction between two closely spaced metal plates, White and his team unexpectedly observed a tiny structure resembling a warp bubble. Though minuscule and weak, this bubble shared the predicted ring-shaped structure and exhibited properties similar to those described in Alcubierre's model. It was the first time that such a structure had been identified experimentally, even if by accident. While this micro-warp bubble was nowhere near the scale needed for practical space travel, it served as an important proof of concept. It demonstrated that the theoretical underpinnings of warp technology might not be entirely beyond the reach of experimental science. Encouraged by this discovery, White and his team developed a new concept for a miniature spacecraft capable of generating its own warp bubble to travel short distances, at least in theory. Although still hypothetical, these advances have led scientists to believe that we may be on the verge of turning warp drive from fiction to fact. If we step back from human capabilities and instead entertain the possibility of advanced alien civilizations, an intriguing question arises could extraterrestrial beings have already developed functional warp drives? We may not know the answer to that, but recent studies suggest we might be able to detect the telltale signs of such technology. Physicists are now investigating what kind of physical signatures a warp-capable spacecraft might produce, particularly during acceleration or deceleration phases when the warp bubble would be under stress. A fascinating study led by Katie Clough at Queen Mary University of London tackled this exact question. Her team simulated the collapse of a warp bubble roughly 1 km in size carrying a spaceship traveling at 10% the speed of light. The results revealed that such an event would generate brief but distinct gravitational waves, ripples in spacetime similar to those caused by colliding black holes or neutron stars. However, unlike those cosmic collisions, the frequency of the warp bubble's signal would be about 300 kHz, unfortunately just outside the range of current gravitational wave detectors. The good news? Technology capable of detecting higher frequency gravitational waves already exists. In fact, if a warp bubble were to collapse within a reasonable distance from Earth, we might already have the means to detect its signature. This opens up the exciting possibility of identifying alien spacecraft based solely on the gravitational footprints they leave behind. The signal from a collapsing warp bubble would differ significantly in shape and frequency from other known cosmic events, making it a unique target for future observation. In conclusion, while humanity is still many years, if not decades or centuries, away from building a full-scale warp-capable vessel, the foundations are being laid today. From Alcubierre's theoretical framework to Fuchs's subluminal warp drive and white surprise experimental warp bubble, each step brings us closer to achieving what was once thought impossible. Moreover, with the potential to detect the signatures of warp-capable civilizations elsewhere in the universe, the dream of interstellar contact and exploration feels more real than ever. The bottom line is clear, we are no longer limited to dreaming about warp drives, we are actively researching and inching toward making them a reality. The question is no longer if, but when. And when that moment arrives, it could redefine humanity's place in the cosmos forever. If space amazes you, hit subscribe, this is Space Lab.